Good morning, everyone. It's super duper early. It is approximately 5.30. Um, I just got out of bed. Um, I gotta go take Reese outside, but a couple of y'all wanted to know what I do for work. So that's what we're gonna do today. But we have an early flight, so let's get this day started. I have to take Reese outside first before I catch my flight. So let's do that and then we'll get started. See you. Let's go. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Please and thank you. Love you, mean it. I didn't give y'all proper energy. Let's restart this. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Um, so, I forgot what I even told y'all before, but today we are going to take a little adventure, which is going to be different. Um, as I told y'all in the last video, things are about to make some major changes um, in my life. And so, I remember when I first started this channel, um, a couple people asked me like, what I do for work? Because as you know, I do travel for work. So, um, if you didn't know, I am, or was a, because I did leave my job, but I am helping out like I did last weekend. I'm helping out this weekend. Um, I was an event and logistics manager for a family owned photography company. And we basically go to different, uh, cheer and dance competitions and take action shots and videos and team portraits and all that good stuff of different cheer and dance competitions and we like create a booth and we set it up on site for on-site sales and stuff like that so let's take this adventure so you can see what i do um this is probably like one of my last times that i'll be doing this so i figured this is probably the best opportunity for me to go ahead and show you guys what i actually do uh, i'm gonna finish getting ready and then i'm gonna catch my uber to the airport it is already late i'm running behind schedule so let me get going um good thing is i only live like five minutes from the airport so let me finish getting ready and then i will talk to y'all in a hot second bye big boy we have officially made it outside it is approximately 6 20. we start boarding at 7 30. i typically try to leave the house about an hour early of boarding just because um, just because I stay like right next to the airport so it's really not that big of a rush but sometimes it's tricky with Orlando because TSA pre don't be TSA pre in here in Orlando sometimes you still gotta wait like 30 minutes we just gonna pray that we're gonna get through quick and easy today so Uber should be here in about a couple minutes I want to say they wasn't too far and then we'll be headed through security and then y'all can see well i will say a familiar face but since i haven't edited the royal caribbean vlogs yet y'all haven't seen nick uh so we'll be hanging out with him today while we're at work so let's get through the airport i already follow his location he's already at the airport so we'll see him and he'll probably be sticking with us for the rest of the vlog until we close it out yeah i'm just here waiting and yeah i'm still testing out this osmo pocket 3 which to be honest i am loving this camera uh yeah i'm loving this camera i already bought a second one. we will do an unboxing i'll unbox that one maybe sooner than later i don't know if i'll unbox it before what i planned on doing next so yeah, mm -hmm. let's go to the airport. We've made it to the airport, barely. Um, yeah, barely. My Uber driver, first of all, I, I drive Uber every once in a while to make a little extra money. I sent her to gate code before she got to the gate. She sat at the gate for like two minutes. The code that I sent her opens the gate no matter what. It's not like it has to call me or nothing. It just opens the gate. <clears throat> so then she finally gets in after I started already walking towards her because I felt she probably just didn't know I'd message her maybe. I don't know. So get in the car and then 
y'all, she drives the speed limit. So if the speed limit was 30, we were going 30. And not, not any faster than that. Um, yeah. So when we got on the main road and it sped up, and then the speed slowed back down. We, there was a, like she was on the brake because we was not going faster than that. So, so yeah, barely. We was about to get clapped up on the highway because uh, clearly she wasn't flowing with traffic. So, um, anywho, we made it, but barely. Um, heading through security now. TSA Pre is actually wide open which is not typical for early, mon early, early mornings in Orlando. So I will talk to you once we get through security. Just like that, we right around the corner from the gate. It is 6:47. So, see, quick time. TSA was was given grace this morning. I think I want to grab some breakfast real quick if I can, and then I'll head over to the gate, which is literally like one minute that way. Um, yeah, we're gonna grab a salad this morning. We're gonna be light because I need to be on a diet. Good morning. We have made it to the gate. Um, our beauty queen has made it to the gate. It's so bright out here and the sun is like hitting me directly in the face. It's the sunny state. <laughs> so oh, it's the orange state. I was going to get a salad, but <laughs> I, I end up getting a wrap and a uh what was it called a mango smoothie because they didn't have orange juice that was not a mango smoothie that was a strawberry smoothie no that was definitely mango it didn't look mango and hers that one over there that one looked strawberry yours was the same exact that color. was not the same color okay okay so um yeah so we are sitting at the gate now um so my public education just showed not too long ago shut up so if y'all don't know, Southwest has like different liveries, which is like paint jobs on their planes. And the one that was at the gate that just left uh, was the... Which one was it? Florida. No, no. California. Yeah. It was the California, they call it the California one. And so as soon as that one left, um, the Florida one pulled up. And so I went on Google and went to see which ones they have and it looks like they have a livery for each uh, like hub that they operate out of. And so I started listing all of them. And one of the last ones was <laughs> Emua One. <laughs> and I was like, what is Emua? I didn't know what Emua was. And so as I kept saying it, Nick said, Maui? <laughs> So, yes, public education, guys. Stay in school. <laughs> so, we're sitting at the gate. Um, they are deplaning right now, and then we will be on our way to Louisville. Maui-wa. Emua. Emua. That's got to be a hashtag. In the comments below, hashtag Emua. <laughs> so... If y'all have ever flown Southwest, then y'all know what this is right here. This is boarding time. But <laughs> y'all can't see Nick right now, but he is like discreetly flicking me off. <laughs> but if y'all flown Southwest, then y'all know what this is right here. But if y'all have paid attention to what's going on, um, Southwest has also just uh, let everybody know that they are switching from open seating to assigned seating. So I wonder if they're still going to board in somewhat similar to 
how they do now. I kind of like the open seat though, no, but we'll see how it is. Every other airline is not that way, so we'll see. I'm sure they'll figure it out, or they have figured it out clearly. Well, what y'all think? Do y'all like the open seating that Southwest currently is doing, or do y'all like assigned seating? I know a lot of people probably prefer assigned seating, but let me know. Let me know. Trying not to be too loud, but we got about an hour and 45 minutes. Hey, Nick. Hey. <laughs> we got about an hour and 45 minute flight. I will be asleep for the majority of the time because I don't know if I told y'all already, but um, I didn't get much sleep last night because I was up, um, pre let's just say preparing for what's coming up next. Um, which I'll give y'all more details about that. Cellular phones and portable electronic devices in airplane or game mode only. All seatbelts fastened and luggage stowed. I'll give y'all more details about that um, in next week's video. Um, anywho, we are about to get on this. Uh, we are about to get in this air, get to Louisville, get set up. And then figure out something to eat. I'm hungry. I'm not hungry, but I'm hungry. I wish I had some orange juice. It was not huge. And it was not a burrito. You feed a family of five with that. Five. That's three. For sure. Public education. No, Well, well, well. This is giving me PTSD. It's been about two hours. Um, we have simply just been setting up our booth. I'll show you around the awards hall real quick. So, there is where the award stage is. That's where they do all the awards. And then in that far corner over there is the client's like store. They make custom t-shirts and the official event t-shirt. And then here is our booth where we sell our photos. And then we also do green screen at this particular event. So, um, we've been here about two, maybe two and a half hours. Um, we maybe got like another hour or so to get everything finished up and clean our booth up. I am hungry, so I am trying to get through this process. And then we will probably go to Walmart to grab food, stuff like that, snacks to eat on during the event. Because these events go all day. All day. So we'll probably be here at like 7, 8 a.m., most likely 7. 7 a.m. and then we probably won't leave here till like 10 o'clock at night so yeah so uh go grab some snacks and some food all that good stuff and then i'll see y'all probably at the hotel i think so yeah peace we are heading to the hotel um i'm still hungry did you always one of the it? uh what was she? One of the catering ladies that work here at the venue, uh, Nick, Mr. Fabulous Nick, got us some free cheesecake. <laughs> right from back here. When you're beautiful, you get everything for free in life. 
take that as advice. So, she, uh, she gave us some cheesecake, which was uh, greatly appreciated. Well, I need to find some actual food. So, we were looking around. Oh, I forgot this was the microphone. Every time Sorry. I'm about to faint, I hope I the audio was great. Cube. But we were looking for what? <laughs> looking I'm on for this new diet where every time I'm about to faint, <laughs> I eat a cheese of cube. Not a so, cube of cheese, a cheese of cube. Um, so, we got to find some food around the hotel. We're going to just Uber eat that shit. Bro. Something. I don't know. I'm so hungry right now. Yeah, I can tell. So. You yeah, we'll see you when we get to the hotel. This looks like a brand new venue. It's definitely brand new. We have checked into the hotel. I was going to do a room tour for y'all right away. But, like I said, I'm hungry. Nick stayed in the room, but the guy at the front desk said that this restaurant right next door, it's a Mexican restaurant, he recommends. So, I'm going here. I'll show y'all the menu. It is called El Toro Mexican Restaurant. So we'll see what they got. Um, I'm probably going to get something basic or whatever. I have been trying to watch what I eat. So, trying, trying. So uh, we'll see what they got in here. And then I'll head back to the room. I'll do a little quick room tour. And then that's pretty much it for tonight. And then I'll see y'all in the morning when we actually got to get up bright and early for this event. So we have made it into El Toro. I have ordered uh, some food for Nick and I. I got the enchiladas suizas. Uh-huh. I got one um, chorizo, one beef, and one chicken. And then um, Nick got like some vegetarian, um, some vegetarian enchiladas that came with. I want to say she said grilled onions and peppers, and grilled onions, peppers, and something else. And then of course they come with rice and beans on the side. So yeah. I'm ready to do that. I got some work to do tonight. So tonight will be an early night. Uh, and then, of course, I need to see what our schedule looks like for tomorrow to see how long tomorrow will be. But until then, this is how work is. We literally go in, we set up our booth, we go to the hotel. We'll probably go to Walmart tonight to grab some snacks because, of course, concession stand food at convention centers and stuff like that is very, very expensive. So we'll go to Walmart, grab some snacks, water, stuff like that to snack on throughout the day. And then we'll go back to the hotel, go to sleep, wake up bright and early and sit there and work all day. And that happens Saturday, all day, Sunday, all day. And then wake up bright and early Monday morning to head to the airport and get back home. So yeah, so I'll pop in here and there to show you a little bit of that and then I might close it off either on the way home or once I get home or we'll see but yeah I'll show you what the food looked like too when we uh, when we get it over to the hotel I peace well, we have made it over to Walmart I have grabbed a few things I'm looking for maybe one more thing to snack on but I don't know what that may be I know the hotel breakfast is usually usually a no-go for me because I can't eat them fake eggs and the meat don't be meat and I've been trying to stay away from meat as much as I can so yeah that's not really the greatest option so um, at least I'll show you what I have so far so I have some, hold on, let's go down, there we go. I have some bananas, I have some water, of course, orange juice. Have y'all tried these Olipops? They're great, I love them. Some go-go squeeze, some applesauce, and then I never seen these before, these air fried Himalayan salt kettle chips, and then some Simply Ruffles. I wish they had some Simply like Lay's, but 
I'm trying to stay as healthy as possible because we don't do much moving around. Um, it's a lot of sitting down and stuff like that. So I try not to eat a bunch of stuff that's just a bunch of added sugar and all that good stuff. Because, you know, we got to treat our bodies like a... Um, like a kingdom and so i am trying to get better at that myself so i'm trying to find one more thing in this aisle and i don't know what i want to get yet so i'm not sure but if y'all see something that y'all would usually get that's somewhat healthy for me let me know let me know because i can't think of nothing but if i can't find something like the next second or two alvin will be heading to the register to get out of here because my food is also at the hotel. As soon as I got back to the room, one of my coaches was like, hey, I'm heading to Walmart. And I was like, all right, great, I'm out. So I'll see y'all either when I get to the register or get back in the car or to the hotel, one of the two. But I'll speak to y'all again before the end of the night. <laughs> so, all right, y'all, we made it to the hotel. This is what I grabbed off of that aisle that I was looking for. I haven't had these before, but it's like a granola bar but it's like a healthy version it only has cashews dates apples blueberries vanilla asterisk that's nothing the ingredients fun. yeah nothing fun um and then of course i needed something sweet so i grabbed Damn, how many did you eat? need some feastables it's only five in here they collapsed There's on each other left. no it's four left in here it's four left this is proof that it's four left I just gave you one. You didn't give me anything. I just opened it in front of you. you didn't give me <laughs> so that's all I got. So we just chilling in the hotel for tonight. I'm about to go ahead and grub. Did you um? Eat it already? Yeah. Fin <laughs> okay. Well, he's finished all his food. I'll um. I'm a big back. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the up. So, yes, we're about to grow. Ooh, okay, yeah, we're about to grow. I'm gonna throw this in. Oh, I can't throw it in the microwave. It's gonna burn. Oh my. No, I'll eat it. Alright, but yes, um, we are about to eat. And I gotta get a little bit of work done on the computer for yeah, some upcoming stuff, and then, um,. <laughs> I literally cannot stand you. <laughs> literally, you acting like you're working. Where Shut are you up. Working? Where you gotta go? And then, um, the yeah. Upcoming work. Please I'll see. In a, what upcoming work I will see y'all in the morning. Line ass bitch. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Um, we are jumping on the down. elevator right now to head downstairs. Um, this event we didn't have it like a super early call time. Just because this client doesn't do ridiculous things, they care about humanity. So our call time is 7.20 today, so we have a few minutes before we need to meet downstairs. But I will see you guys when we get to the venue. Alright guys, so our day has officially started, doors have opened, we are here and ready to go. First Awards is about to start now. The performance hall is like three floors up. So we'll go check out the performance hall, um, maybe a little bit today. Um, I'm sure I'll head up there because all I do is fix stuff all day, every once in a while, every day, all once in a while, pretty much at some point I'll be going somewhere to fix something. So heading in here now, let's get our day started and I'll catch you guys later. It is the end of day one. We are in a hotel room. It is approximately 11.52. We got here around, what, 9.30? No, 10 o'clock? 10.30. 10.30, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, anywho, we got here around 10.30. Of course, the only thing, yeah, it was about 10.30. The only thing that was open, of course, to grab food was Mickey D's and taco trash I you ate taco yeah i usually don't eat taco bell that's so horrible thank yeah. god i eat it okay so uh <laughs> tomorrow we are in a different hotel because 
the airport is about a hour hour and a half away from here so uh we go back to work do the same thing tomorrow morning about 8 a.m to <laughs> stop nick we go back to work tomorrow from around 8 a.m and i want to say the last award ceremony is like nine o'clock so after packing up loading the truck back up we will be leaving there approximately 10:30. approximately about 10 30 11 o'clock so and then we got an hour and a half drive to get back to the airport Tomorrow's and flight then early. flights i want to say is early they're always they're early going home eight. well it's not as early just like it wasn't as it's early not a 5 there. Flight. yeah it's not one of those 5 a.m flights so um but yeah i have eaten i am about to pack up my stuff because of course we check out in the morning and then um i'm going to jump in the shower so i will see y'all in the morning good night all right good morning guys i am heading to the trash can because <laughs> we're trash no i didn't get much rest last night um tossing and turning woke up probably at least once every hour i did finish my orange juice this morning though um one more day this is just the calm before the storm to be honest it is nobody in here but they have opened up the awards hall already and of course the merch and t-shirt line is getting busy as always um but yeah we're just hanging out in here for a little bit awards to start i didn't get many shots in of yesterday but it's not much it's just a huge crowd of people that go to awards they come out another group come in it's just rinse and repeat so i will see y'all later So editing Alvin here, if y'all hear any random noises, that's typical noises from a hybrid car. But I wanted to stop in real quick just to explain a little bit more in detail a few things and show you why you didn't see certain things. Before, when you saw, right before we set up, we were unloading the truck, Nick came up behind me to ask if I was having PTSD. He asked me that because keep in mind, I was the event and logistics manager. So my job for the last, what, I've been with the company for about 10 years, but the last four to five years, I basically was in charge of loading the trucks, making sure everything was on the trucks, packing it so nothing got damaged in transit, driving from here to there. So this is why if previous videos, if you ever heard me saying, yeah, I had to drive from Orlando to Wheeling, West Virginia, or Orlando to Dallas and back, or here and there. That was part of my job. I was looking at the truck, and he already knew I was looking to make sure everything was, one, not broken, and two, making sure that all the equipment was there, kind of like a mental checklist in my head. And it's just from the years of doing the job, and now it was basically... I was seeing it being done, but it, I wasn't in charge of it, nor was I in any of the planning process. So it was just like first look, it was just naturally going in to be like, uh, okay. And then as you saw, we just packed up and I did say previously that I would show you the competition floor. I should have showed you that 
during setup as well, but I didn't, and I wasn't gonna show it during competition because this is a cheerleading and dance competition, and I didn't wanna show you a bunch of underage athletes. See you soon. I can see what's happening. What? And they don't have a clue. Who? They'll fall in love, and here's the bottom line. I trio down to two. Oh, there's something, something like magic <laughs> in the air. And with all this romantic atmosphere, there's dancers in the air. I'm really yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Run away with me. With He's you. holding back. He's hiding. But what I can't decide. Why won't he be the king? I know he is. The king I see inside. <laughs> wow. Woo, so good. All right, good morning. Good evening, good afternoon, folks. I still got my morning voice, breath, everything. <laughs> um, Nick and I are... Uh, Pardon me, guys. Sorry. You're all right. <clears throat> Nick and I are sitting in line at TSA Free. Just look at this. You got the TSA Pre line that's longer than the regular line. This this is what happens when we're in Orlando as well. So Orlando's not that bad. Though. Yeah, Orlando don't line. be that bad. But <clears throat> some airports, TSA Pre is just not the not the best cookie to crumble. Um but anywho, just wanted to close out the vlog here. We are headed home. My throat is itchy. I'm ready to go lay down in my bed. Um, so, yeah. I'll see y'all in the next one. I don't know what that's going to be about. I kind of have an idea. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Alright, Nick throwing up the deuces. Time to go, y'all. Oh, time to go. Bye. Deuce. Oh, wait. Sorry. So early. I almost forgot. As always, do what you love. Love what you do. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Peace in the Middle East.